and voter parity to achieve effective representation. However, that mandate is very narrow. In the course of our uh, public hearings, uh, a number of proposals or uh, suggestions were made to us that really don't fall uh, within the mandate that the Legislative Assembly has given us. I'd just like to highlight some of those for your benefit. We do not have the legal authority to propose a number of writings other than 49. We do not have the legal authority to calculate writings based on some figure other than the voters list. That we can't use the population. We have no authority to double count or leave voters money. We certainly cannot ignore the plus or minus 5% requirement, which is the level of deviation that we're permitted. Uh, we have no legal authority to apply the extraordinary circumstances provision of the Act across large areas of the province. We do not have any authority to delay or refuse to complete the work that we take on and that's because we understood the mandate when we agreed to take it on and, and, uh, and therefore knew what the, the challenges were going to be. Nor can we refuse to follow or demand amendments to the Electoral Boundaries and Representation Act. So what we have, we have to work with. There are areas where, where we can make changes, not the least of which would be changing the name of a proposed writing to better reflect the geographical realities of an area. Uh, we certainly can look at the overreaching importance of effective representation across the province. We also can look at the guiding principle of voter parity. We can look at communities of interest, and we are given the authority to look at other considerations that we deem appropriate. Finally, our timeline. Uh, the legislation has very clear and strict timelines. Uh, we released the preliminary report 17th of January, and we have exactly 90 days from that date on which we are to report and are filed with the clerk of the legislature what is termed the final report. It won't be completely final, however, because at that point, the current members of the Legislative Assembly will have a 14 day period to write us uh, with uh, suggestions uh, signed by two members of the legislature. Following that, we have another 30 days to assess that those kinds of uh, uh, written comments and make, uh, make some final decisions. Once that 30 day period is up, uh, we will then be required to file the uh, final report <coughs> with the clerk of the legislative assembly and as well this time with the province's chief electoral officer. Those would then be the uh, guiding boundaries that will be in place for the next 10 years and will be used, as I understand it, first in the, the 2014 uh, general election. So having said that, we're ready to hear presentations from uh, those who wish. And the process we follow is that anyone who has registered with uh, our executive director, Charles, over here on the on my left or right, uh, will be given first priority. And then uh, following that, we will invite anyone in the audience who wishes to make a presentation to come forward and do so. Uh, for the record, we are, we are recording uh, 